Hi Vogue, it's Natalia Dyer and today I'm going to show you my current skincare routine and just like an everyday simple makeup look. I go back and forth with cleansers depending on what my skin needs. I've been using this one from my dermatologist. It's just a really gentle uh, oatmeal cleanser. I have always had pretty finicky, sensitive skin. It broke out a lot when I was a teenager. I read this book in my early 20s called Skin Cleanse. The book basically asks you, if your skin's freaking out, to just take a step back and uh, stop doing everything. My next step is this little Elastin Restorative Skin Complex. It's just really nourishing and hydrating. This is a moisturizer that I've been using recently. Um, I love this brand. Very gentle. Whenever my skin is freaking out, I'll go back to them and their cleansers. And they have this Seagull Blast Balm that's really, really good. I did go through a phase where I was making these like yogurt, turmeric, honey um, face masks. And I did think it was pretty brightening, but the only thing is that it was quite hard to get off. And I remember one of the first days I uh, went to set for Stranger Things and the makeup artist was kind of like, what is this going on? And just started removing all of this like yellow that I had missed from the turmeric. Something that I use sometimes when my skin is feeling a bit sensitive is this Rosatrol, right? It's this, just this nice, easy serum that kind of helps with redness and takes away some of the irritations. This I use pretty regularly because I carry all of my tension in my jaw. When my jaw relaxes, I think everything relaxes a bit more. Sometimes I'll use my fingers that have uh, been known to yeah, just kind of sit here and like rub it out a little bit. So next I'll go in with this sunscreen. I've been trying to be better about wearing sunscreen. This one's really light and easy and goes pretty well under makeup. An eye cream. Eye cream was actually the first beauty product I think I ever invested in. I think I must have been like 14 or something. They always had really dark circles and I was just so self-conscious. I like to use a little bit of this as sort of a primer. It just kind of helps everything be a little smoother. I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm not working, but um, occasionally, you know, it's nice to just have a little bit of a, of a face on when you're going out in the world. I'll just start with a little bit of a base and I'll just put it on the back of my hand. This is actually a tip that I learned from our Stranger Things makeup artist, oil, but you just put a little tiny bit in with the foundation. It makes it again hydrating, a little sheer kind of tint. Nancy's palettes are always really pinks and purples, which is something I don't normally do in my life, so it's kind of fun to live in that world. I think my favorite thing, honestly, is when she starts out, you know, very put together, and then as the season goes on, she usually ends up um, kind of disheveled and messy and dirty and sweaty. And for me, that's, that's kind of where it gets really um, fun. Bangs are great uh, because, you know, that's a lot of real estate that you don't have to worry about. Concealer. We have a friend here who decided to join us today. You'd think for someone who gets their makeup done as much as I do, I would have picked up more tips, but uh, I usually just kind of sit there and then wait to be like, wow, look what you did. I do like a full brow. I'm actually kind of growing out the tails a little bit because it's like to use really gentle strokes. Being on the show is what turned me on to like a fuller, brow, that 80s brow. That's one word of advice I gave to my, my younger sister is just like, don't look at brows, just leave them. Because I definitely was someone who 
in my teens, just really, really went for it. Skinny brow. As soon as I really thought that I could wear makeup, I wore all, all of the makeup. I did primer, foundation, and powder, and bronzer, and blush, and like I just kind of went from zero to 60. And looking back on those photos is really funny to me. I usually I'll go in over that with the, it's just clear brow gel. Sometimes I'll use the mascara or um, I've definitely used hairspray on a toothbrush before, which works. For stranger things, this season there's like two kinds of goo. There was like one that's like slimy and then there was one that they put on them and just stay and you just like scrub it off at the end of the day. Curl my lashes, but I have to be really careful with it because I have long lashes and sometimes if I curl them too much, it's like, whoa. I've been using this CoverGirl mascara since I was in high school. This was given to me on a set by a makeup artist. It's this really great sort of like multitasking um, balm. I've just been kind of just following my cheek on. Loving the paintings. I really prefer um, creamier formulas uh, over powders because I just find them easier to blend and uh, kind of just gives like a bit of a, of a wash. Kind of like a, a monochromatic color look. This is amazing. It's really hydrating, it's really nice, but I'll do, I'll do the same thing, just kind of like, you know, patting it along here. Another set, fine. Red carpet things feel so out of my normal routine that I, you know, it's a little bit more fun to like experiment. I think, you know, it's fun to play with colors. I love the idea of it a lot, but there's definitely times where I've gone through glam for hours and then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, who is that? I feel best when I look like myself, you know, like a little like enhanced version. I love this brand, Uma. I have all of these oils that I really like. This one's pure energy. Scents are really big to me. They're so evocative, very tied to memories. I think I've collected quite an arsenal of, of scents over the years. And every time I go back to smell one from the period, it's like, you're automatically brought back to that time that's so visceral. It's just something that helps you sort of step into this character. Um, though that did backfire for me quite a bit on Stranger Things, that I would buy this perfume from the 80s. I was like, oh, this is what this can smell like and sprayed it on um, before a scene with Joe, Joe Curie and it was atrocious. It was so just, oh, it was bad. It was so strong and powdery and just not, not the vibe at all. I did get these bangs about a year ago and I do like them a lot. I actually got them cut on set, one of our Dear, dear hair, hair people who taught me this trick that I've been using ever since um, with dry shampoo. And I really like this one. It's kind of give it a good rub and you kind of feel when it's in there. And you just do it like this. That's my routine. Thanks for watching. Bye, folks.